In this video, we demonstrate how to start ventilation with a Vita 4 and how to adjust settings. The ventilator starts ventilation in the selected ventilation mode and the selected settings. And on the display, you have in the heater bar the actual ventilation mode. Below, you have in this case the pressure curve and the flow curve. To change the curves, just hit, just push the button and select the desired curve and the screen changes from the pressure curve to the volume curve. You have three sets of pre-configured measured values on the right side and to toggle between these three sets, just push the button in the right upper corner here. On the left side of the screen, there are some fixed keys. With the first one, you can switch the nebulization on if you require nebulization and you have connected a nebulizer. And by pressing the button again, nebulization is finished. The next key is the O2 suction function. And uh, for entering the O2 suction menu, press the button for three seconds. And now the O2 suction mode is on. If you want to finish the O2 suction, press the button again and the O2 suction function is finished. For inspiration hold, press the inspiration hold button and the inspiration will be hold as long as you press the button. And if you release the button, inspiration hold is finished. With the same button, you have the possibility to start a manual inspiration by pressing the button once. Expiration hold, one button below. As long as you hold the button, the expiration is hold. And to change the view between day and night, you use the day-night button, which is here. With a button in the left upper corner, you can mute alarms for two seconds, for two minutes. And if you want to stop it earlier, just push the button again. To freeze the waveforms, just push the freeze button and now the waveforms are frozen and you can use the cursor by turning the rotary knob and you see the values of the measured curve uh, on the cursor position here. If you put freeze again, the freeze function stops automatically. If you would like to change something in your ventilation, select mode settings and now you see the adjustable values of the current ventilation mode and to change it just push the button, the color turns to yellow, change the value by using a rotary knob and confirm the new adjustments with the rotary knob. To change the ventilation mode in general, select your desired ventilation mode, adjust your settings by using the rotary knob and confirmation, confirm again, and now we changed our ventilation mode in this example from SIMV to BiPAP. Adjust your alarm limits by pushing the alarm limit button. You see the actual measured values on the left side and the alarm limits on the right side. If you would like to change a limit, just push the desired value. It turns to yellow, change it with the rotary knob and confirm again. Measured values delivers two tables with all available measured values on a glance. Push the button special procedures and the menu for the available special procedures opens. In this example, you have the possibility to measure your PO1 and your intrinsic PEEP value. 
and if you push the button calibration you can calibrate manually CO2 sensor as well as a flow sensor and once again by pressing the main menu button the device always turns back on the main screen. To stop ventilation push the on off button for three seconds the device turns into standby and confirm standby by pressing the alarm reset button.